It's so good to be back here in South Carolina. Home of the game time. Nice feed. Wow. Another fantastic flush by Bryant. Ducked it right on his head. Look at the ball movement for Carolina. Gosh, that's pretty. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. We're at Colonial Life Arena, going to be talking some basketball on this week's show. We're so happy to have some great highlights and footage from the unveiling of the Asia Wilson statue. So you'll want to stay tuned for that as well. Frank Martin is back in the saddle, so to speak. The Gamecock men's basketball coach going through a second bout with COVID, and we'll hear from him on what that has been like and where his team is as they get things ramped back up in SEC play. Some new members of the Gamecock football staff to introduce you to. You'll hear from them, including the new defensive backs coach, Torian Gray, who knows Shane Beamer from way, way back. On the Prisma Health Injury Report, Gamecock men's basketball continues to be a bit short-handed. Jalen McCreary just missed his third consecutive game, and Alonzo Frank remains out as well. The injury report brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care system and team physicians of the Gamecocks. So a lot to get into on today's show, plus all of our usual features to cover as well. Stick with us. We're coming back with more in just a bit. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Calls. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. percent APR for 48 months plus $500 holiday bonus cash on a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 and 90 day payment deferral. Don't miss out. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. We're back on Gamecock Insider. You know, the Gamecock men's basketball program has been through the ringer so far this season already. Two stoppages due to COVID-19. They basically missed the entire month of December. Eight total games have either been canceled or postponed. And most recently, they played at LSU, but had to do so without their head coach, Frank Martin, who announced later that he had been through a second bout with COVID in about a seven or eight month span. It has been a rough road for the team. It's been a really rough road for Frank as well. And we talked with him about that on Carolina Calls earlier this week. Let's give a listen to some of what Frank has to say, his thoughts about his personal battles and, of course, where the team is right now as well. We are live at Home Team Barbecue in Five Points, and we are glad to be back here. But more importantly, we are so happy to have the man, Frank Martin, in person for Carolina Calls. Coach, how are you, sir? 
it was a, it was a struggle there. But but you know what? God's God's great all the time, and my faith is in Him. And and uh, I guess He still has things that He needs me to do around here, like helping the Gamecocks win some basketball games. So we'll we'll uh, we'll get back on it here and and get after things best we can. You know, I think this is this year's unique. Yeah. This this is not a normal year. We can't act and treat the season like it's normal. It's not. So we got to be proactive and have conversations. I'm not saying that what I'm saying is right. Got to have conversations and figure out if that's the intelligent thing to do. If it's going to generate revenue for all the teams and all that, I'm not one of these guys that hides with, oh, that, that's all about them. No, man, that, that revenue allows a lot of people to to have opportunities to have scholarships, to have jobs, not my salary, a lot of people to have jobs. It, it allows a lot of students to continue to fly charter planes and get first rate trainers and doctors and all kinds of stuff, educational, the Doty, the people that work in that bill. There's a lot of people getting paid to make the value of the, our athletes' lives better. And that's why those people collect salaries because they add value to young lives. It is great to have you back out here with us. Thanks so much for your time. Great being here with the whole crew. I can't wait to get together next week and, and let's celebrate some wins next week. Absolutely. For Frank Martin, I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for joining us tonight on Carolina Calls from Learfield IMG College. As always, Frank Martin, someone who uh, is an interesting conversation to have, a thoughtful guy. It's going to be great to have him back on the sideline here at Colonial Life Arena. Speaking of the CLA, well, there's a, a new feature here. It's outside the front entrance where it should be, where everyone enters this building, where they can pay homage to the great Asia Wilson. She brought this team a national championship. She was a national player of the year. She'll be recognized in perpetuity historically as an all-time great Gamecock. And earlier this week, as her statue was unveiled, she had some amazing things to say about what this meant to her, her family, and this Columbia community. And thank you for all being here today to honor a once in a generation woman. This moment is for every girl who was told she wasn't enough, wasn't strong enough, wasn't smart enough, was too short, too skinny, too fat. First, I want to thank my parents, Eva and Roscoe. Your unconditional support and infinite love motivates me. Every ride to practice, every meal made, lesson taught, molds me and made a profound impact on my life. Well, when you have a young person that um, can stand and be strong in who she is, you, you have to believe that she's got what it takes to, to lead beyond the basketball court. And that's what she's done. I, I remember the first time hearing President Pastides at graduation uh, mention this, and I, I did think it was real. I, I honestly thought it was a joke. Um, and to see this come together, it, it's simply surreal. Also, I would love to thank my coaches and my second mom, Dawn Staley. You know, a great coach goes beyond the court. They change lives. Coach Staley, you embraced me, dealt with all of my craziness, bought me out of my shell, showed me how to be a leader. When you ever see that incredible combination of excellence, that you have exemplified on the field and character that you have exemplified not only on the court but in the life that you have led thus far. You become an incredible role model, you become an incredible legacy and it's so important to all of us that you are the role model of who you are because of what you have embraced and who you are. So I thank the University of South Carolina and all of its decision makers to make this happen. Um, it was the right thing to do for the right person at the right time. My grandmother, Hattie Rakes, grew up in this area, four blocks from the governor's mansion to be exact. When she was a child, she couldn't even walk on the grounds of the University of South Carolina. She would have to walk around the campus just to get to where she needed to go. If only she was here today to see that the same grounds she had to walk around. It now is the same grounds that houses a statue of her granddaughter. Thank you guys so much.
Be sure to tune in to Carolina Calls on the Gamecock Sports Network. Thursday night at 7 p.m., we talk basketball with Frank Martin at Home Team Barbecue in Five Points. lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate to do more than we ever thought possible. To help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go in. <laughs> Toyotathon is on. Tis the season for great year-end deals. Right now, during Toyotathon, lease a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $249 a month for 36 months plus $500 holiday bonus cash. Don't miss out. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. Carolina football program continues to bring in new faces as Shane Beamer gets that coaching staff stocked. And this past week, we had an opportunity to meet three of the newest members of the staff. We're going to give you a chance to hear from those folks as well. Luke Day is the new strength coach. Torian Gray, someone who played collegiately and coached with Shane Beamer. Virginia Tech comes on to handle the DBs, ready to make this DBU once again. And of course, also Jimmy Lindsay, the new defensive line coach. Let's give you a chance to hear from all three of the new members of the Gamecock coaching staff. First off, um, I just want to, to express um, how thankful I am for this opportunity to be here and to be the strength coach at the University of South Carolina. I told the team the first time I ever got to address them about a week ago, uh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me aside from marrying my wife and the birth of my kids, but it's close. It's real close. Uh, it's, that, it's that special um, and been working my whole life, my whole adult life for an opportunity like this. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze every inch of opportunity I can out of it. Just what, in your opinion, from just your experience over the years, makes a great strength and conditioning coach? Uh, a man that can draw out the version of a young man he could not elicit himself. And if, if these kids could just train and we hand them a packet, we should just send them to the rec center. But if, there's a, if you can put the right people around him that, and, and I'm going to steal uh, one of my favorite terms of just defining what a coach is from Chip Morton, 27-year NFL head strength coach that's going to join us here and is here on this staff. Man's heart are deep waters. And the insightful man, a, a real coach, draws that out of them. And there's, the, there's deep water down there in the well, and we got to go dig it out. And that's what I have to do. Physically, this game is still about putting your hands on people and making them go where they don't want to go. And we have to train people that way. And there's a certain mindset that you have to do. There's a certain mentality that has to be uh, taught and brought and instilled in people. And then uh, a resilience like it's one thing if you're if you're a Ferrari type dude and you can go and you're explosive, that's great. But can you repeat it? Can you go round after round after round? And people that get trained that way, uh, those are the people doing it the right way in this business, in my opinion. 
Hey guys, I'm excited to be here at the University of, of South Carolina. I'm excited to be able to come to a great institution. Um, it's in a big time conference and um, look forward to helping contribute to get us back to our, our winning ways. Um, it's exciting and ready to go. Um, obviously there's been a lot of attrition here at Columbia, but what do you plan to do to make sure that there's this t togetherness there um, as a unit so it shows on the field? Well, the biggest thing you have to do, Mitch, is we have to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're all working towards the same goal, and that's to be the best secondary in the country, be the best secondary in the SEC, set our goals high, but we need each other all on one accord, and that's the first line of business you want to be. That, that group back there, because you can win and lose games by the plays you make or you don't make on that back end, got to be on the same page. You got to believe uh, with what you're doing. You got to believe in each other. We got to be coached, um, got to be coached well and, and all those things. It's just so much that encompasses uh, with, with that group and that's that's what we're going to start doing here. And with the guys that we got, we're going to build confidence in those guys. That's why I put on my Twitter handle, um, the new DBU. You got to come in, you got to give those who we got and what we're working with, a certain mindset that, you know, we're going to be as good as anybody in the country. We just got to prepare and start with what we got. We got to work our tails off in the weight room. Um, once we start meeting, we got to uh, meet with um, a purpose and everything we do has got to be with a purpose and it's just you know kind of have be tunnel vision on what we got to do and the work we got ahead of us because we we're you know we're kind of coming from the bottom of the hole with the departures and those things like that and a lack of experience but I think that's going to be an exciting challenge for us. It's really cool to to be back in the state that you were born in. I was uh, born in Sherrill, South Carolina, moved to a really small town, Morven, North Carolina which is in Anson County, but, but to be back in the state and, and be so close to your, to your family. I was at my mom's house yesterday and I plugged in the address to the stadium and it said 95 miles. So that was really, really cool to see. Coach Beamer has put together a staff of men of high character and men that are very strong in their beliefs. Uh, talk about the importance of that. I think it's huge because we have a chance to impact young men um, and, and not only develop them as football players, but developing them for life after football. Um, football's obviously been great to me, and I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for coaches that impacted my life as a high school player and a college player. What, what are some of the, I guess, primary things you want to look for when you're looking at a guy on tape in addition to, I guess, maybe some of the off the field type of stuff that you try to get to know? Well, obviously, our, our great recruiting staff here has a size-speed ratio for every position. So obviously, you want guys that meet the, the size-speed ratio for, for your position. And then you want guys that love football. Uh, right before this, I had, had the opportunity to uh, chat with, with three uh, 2022 recruits. And that's one of the questions that I asked them, you know, do you love football? Um, so. Guys that love the game, that want to be developed, that, that play hard, um, that are in it for the right reasons, that are good teammates. So Shane Beamer's staff almost filled out, and by the time you see this program, Greg Adkins will have been announced as the new offensive line coach as well. Coming back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a moment from Learfield IMG College. <laughs> to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, 
compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. So very, sans very. It's not just about style and vision. It's about passion, our passion, to make sure that you have the perfect glasses or contact lenses for your look. You know, it's just so very Sansbury. With so many choices and options available, we want to make sure your eyewear looks great and feels great. That's so very Sansbury. So very Sansbury Eye Center. Good hard work has earned Caden Briggs the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the track and field team, Briggs is a junior physical education major with a 3.870 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. So that we can move towards what we want as a football program, all right? Gratitude is not, there is not a, that's not a powerful enough word for how I feel to be able to stand up here and do this. Gratitude to that man and to these men and to this staff and this place. Are you kidding me? I don't know if you guys, hey, tomorrow, just look around the building. I know you guys have been in here all the time, but have you seen this place? It's unbelievable. All right? Let's start something special in the morning. No, let's start it tonight out there in the cookout. Here comes Keyshawn driving from the top of the key, elevates and hammers the left hand dunk. Well, he's got to do some 26 last game against the Tigers now. Good start here for him. That's your Sansbury. Did you see that play? Keyshawn Bryant taking off from nearly the foul line and soaring in for the dunk. That was good enough to make Sports Center's top 10 plays on Tuesday night as well. Great week for Keyshawn. He had a career high in scoring against LSU on Saturday as well. Meanwhile, Terminex Pest Player of the Week, well, Aaliyah Boston on the Gamecock women's basketball side is on quite a roll. And most recently, a triple-double in a win against Georgia on Thursday night here at the CLA. That was the first triple-double by a Gamecock ever in SEC competition. Coming back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a bit from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock women's basketball fans, download the Gamecock app and play three points the hard way. Brought to you by our friends with the best made-from-scratch biscuits, Hardee's. If the women's basketball team makes three three-pointers in a game, you can score a free sausage biscuit at Hardee's tomorrow during breakfast hours. Once we hit our three three-pointers, stop by your favorite Hardee's, show them the coupon in the Gamecocks app, and bam, a free biscuit. Get your biscuit at participating Columbia and Spartanburg area Hardee's. Feed your happy. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate to do more than we ever thought possible to help you 
be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Farm Bureau Insurance is giving you a chance to win two tickets to an upcoming home women's basketball game. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to win. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, an autographed ball from Coach Don Staley. Register to win at uscontest.com. That's uscontest.com. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Calls. Back on Gamecock Insider, speaking of the Gamecocks, we've got some track and field highlights. That's right, the spring season is underway. The aptly named Gamecock opener took place recently. Let's take a look at the fun. Great to see those ladies and gentlemen back in action on the track. As we wrap things up on the show, time for our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. And we're going to focus on the Gamecock football staff as we have seen that, that group really come together this past couple of weeks. And some familiar faces have come back to town like Shaq Wilson, like Byron Gerardo, and some real new energized faces to be a part of this thing as well. So for Shane Beamer and his crew, now everyone is together. Kids are back in school. It's time to really buckle down and get focused on football and academics and building the cohesiveness for this unit. I think we're all looking forward to seeing how they come together in the coming weeks and months. That, as we said, the keys to the game brought to you by Toyota. And that'll wrap things up for us on today's edition of Gamecock Insider. Thanks to everybody for being a part of the program. We will see you next week. Until then, I'm Derek Scott. This is Learfield IMG College. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.